smart. Our key verse for the series is Proverbs 29 and verse 18. Where there is no vision, the people are unrestrained. But happy is he who keeps the law. Vision gives us focus. Vision gives us direction. Vision is something that we must run with. And vision uh, is something that we must keep smart. What do we mean by that? Many of you would be aware of the SMART goals. Uh, S stands for specific, M stands for measurable, A stands for attainable, R realistic and T timely. So if we really want to implement the vision that God has for us, uh, these are some very easy ways of working towards the vision. We've got to um, uh, come up with goals both in the short term and in the long term. Uh, what are short term goals? Short term goals are things that we can do today for the fulfillment of our vision, which may be you know, a few years uh, later. Uh, we can also do something about our vision this week or this month. Uh, and we term it as short term because we are able to do things now and see results. But we can also do things in the long term major decisions that we can make uh, that are going to affect the vision of God for our lives. However, the long-term goals that we have cannot be attained in, in, a, in a very short period of time. These can be year-long goals. These can be goals that, that last for, uh, that we work towards for three to five years uh, at a stretch. So, uh, we got to have both short-term and long-term goals in place. Uh, short-term goals may look something like, you know, if, if we have a health, uh, if we want to serve God uh, and, and be healthy and, and do this with, with power and energy, a short-term goal, goal would be something like, you know, I, I, I want to be fit. Uh, and that could simply mean having an exercise routine in your everyday life. Uh, the long-term goals are, are things that you would do over a longer period of time. So it, it could be an educational degree that, that you want to have so that you can achieve what God has called you to do uh, and things like that. So to implement the vision that God has for us, we've also got to ask God for practical wisdom and implement uh, this both in the short term as well as the long term. And let's pray and ask God for His grace to do these things. Heavenly Father, we thank you that, uh, Lord, when we ask for wisdom, O oh God, you're a God who gives abundantly. God, we ask believing, O oh God. Uh, and, and Father, I thank you. I thank you that, Lord, you can give us new strategies. God, even this year, God, you've called us to advance boldly into new territories, Father God, and accomplish great things for you. And so, Father, we, we ask you, Lord, to speak new things into our hearts, O oh God. Lord, we ask for your grace to solve problems, God. We ask for your grace to plan, God, uh, Lord, in a practical way, so that, Lord, we achieve things for you, both in the short term and in the long term, God. And Father God, we, we continue to seek you, God, for supernatural and mighty works in our lives because you are a great God and the power of the Spirit lives on the inside of us. Father God, this day, Lord, we ask for your healing. Lord, we ask for your deliverance. Lord, we ask for your power to be manifest, God, in amazing ways. And Father, we give you glory for doing it. We thank you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.